It's time once again to talk winter weather here at Arkansas. And I have two words for you. La Nina. Hey, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tom Brandon, and just like the winters of 2021 and 2022, the winter of 2023 will be directly impacted by La Nina. La Nina is a climate pattern in the Pacific Ocean that can affect weather on a global scale. Ocean waters in the Pacific are cooler than normal, causing the jet stream to push northward. The result, drier than average conditions and warmer than average temperatures. Now, how will La Nina affect our weather here in Arkansas this winter? Will we experience more snow, severe weather, or worsening drought conditions? The THV 11 weather team is here to break it down for you. First, let's talk about severe weather. Here's meteorologist Scott Covert. Wait, you thought this was a winter weather outlook? Well, it turns out severe weather is actually pretty common in the winter months here in Arkansas and certainly during a La Nina. That's the climate pattern that's going to have influence on our weather between now and spring. This, in fact, is our third consecutive winter with La Nina conditions, which is pretty rare in of itself. We can look back at some of those previous La Ninas to give us an idea of what type of winter to expect. What we find are severe weather outbreaks here in the Deep South, including the largest tornado outbreak in Arkansas history, which happened January of 1999. Don't forget about last year's December outbreak that spawned 12 tornadoes here in the state. Now, given La Nina leads to warm and dry conditions in the deep south and generally cooler and more wet conditions up to our north, this sets us up for the classic battle of the air masses. Now, using history as our guide and looking ahead, what will our winter look like? It's a good bet Arkansas will see at least two to three rounds of severe weather this winter. Scott, thank you so much. Next up, drought. 2022 has been very dry. Meteorologist Corrales Ortiz takes a closer look at La Nina as it relates to drought in Arkansas. During the La Nina winter, it tends to be drier across the southeast. Unfortunately, it's already been dry here in Arkansas these last few months where we saw no shortage of burn bans and wildfire risks. It's predicted that Arkansas is likely to see below normal precipitation through the rest of the fall season and into early winter. We started out this year wet, seeing above average rain during the spring, but ended with little to no rain through the summer. These drought conditions were especially noticeable in October near the Mississippi Delta region, where we saw some of the lowest recorded water levels in history. It doesn't help that during the cooler months, we tend to see less rainfall here in Arkansas. Although drought conditions are expected to worsen, looking back at historical data in Arkansas, they are usually short lived here. Overall, the progression of this drought will be slow, which means we have the potential of seeing some quick improvements if we see substantial rainfall periodically. And finally, winter weather. What are the odds we see snow, ice, or maybe just a cold rain? For those answers, we turn to meteorologist Nathan Scott. Snow is piling up over Siberia, Alaska, and North Canada. With a good snowpack, the temperatures will continue to drop over this part of the world. But how much and how often will a chunk of that polar air break off and pay us a visit here in Arkansas? During a La Nina winter, on average, the polar jet stream plunges into the deep south several times. This sends the temperatures plummeting and will have you searching for the heavy winter coats and gloves. Once the cold air is in place, the most difficult question to answer is, will there be moisture to produce wintry weather? I'm forecasting one or two winter weather events in central Arkansas that will lead to some accumulation of some sort of winter precipitation. Will it be snow, sleet, or freezing rain? We'll just have to wait and see. Since 1950, when we had measurable snow in November, during a La Nina winter, the snowfall totals for the season were less than six inches. And now it's time to make our predictions. The THV 11 weather team is joining me in the weather garden and we're going to talk about snow. First of all, congratulations to Nathan Scott. He was the big winner last year with how much Nathan? I said lucky number seven. All right, okay. and uh, we had six inches totally. We did have six inches. According to the National Weather Service in North Little Rock. All right, so what's your uh, guess this year? Well, we already had some snow around the region in November, so I'm going to go a little bit lower. I'm going to okay. go with five. With five. Okay, Corrales. 
plan is it? Well, I'm saying six. Six? Yeah. Going more than Nathan. More than Nathan. All right, Scott Covert. <laughs> Splitting the difference, 5.5, two to three low impact events. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very specific. <laughs> Tracy Bain. Based on science and a little mom intuition, I'm going four inches. All right, and because I just love watching the prices, right? I'm going 4.5 inches so that I can hopefully win this time around. Thank you guys so much. Good to see everybody in the garden, and we'll send it back inside to you.